Good morning, this is Tim and Pam Martindale from Great Granston, and uh, we're pleased to be able to speak to you this morning, and we're going to start uh, with Pam talking about her story. Normally, when, um, when people give their testimonies, they have a spectacular day or a turning point, or miraculous even, and we've really enjoyed listening to everyone's testimonies on the Zoom. Um, and I, someone asked, well, Paul asked me to do one, and I thought, oh, I can't do that. I really couldn't think, I had trouble thinking what to say, because I feel as if I've always been a Christian all my life. Uh, and I thought, hang on, there must be a reason. You know, everybody has a reason to be in church. Uh, so I thought back to, right back to my childhood, because um, when I was really small, younger than five, um, I lived next door to my uncle and auntie, who were really strong Christians, and I was really attracted to them, to their lifestyle. My uncle was um, in, in, on the leadership team of the Methodist Church, and my auntie took the Sunday school four and five year olds every single Sunday from the, her age of 16 right up to and when she was in her 70s she was still doing it and she was just brilliant at it and I was really attracted to them but I didn't see them very often it was always there in the back of my mind and I also had them um, both my grandparents were Christians my parents were not Christian really but I know that both my grandmas were praying for me and that stayed with me all my life really. So I just want to um, encourage anybody who is a grandparent or an auntie or uncle or Sunday school teacher or any other person in contact with small children because they will really um, notice your lifestyle. And it will impact them. And um, with my parents, they were one of those, I think, what you'd call the middle generation. They, they both had Christian parents. But they didn't really bother with church. But um, I was able to just hang on to um, these people in my life who I saw occasionally, who um, you know, really lived the life. And small children do notice that. So there you go. There's a little word for anybody who's one of those people, grandparents, etc. Makes a big difference. Right. <laughs> so let's just pray for the peoples whose lives we maybe can touch, whether we know it or not. Lord God, we thank you that you hold us in your hand before we were formed and you looked after us as we grew up through the care of aunties, uncles, grandparents, Sunday school teachers. And we give into your hands, Lord, our own children and ask you to bless them and to be close to them and to hold them in your hands. We thank you for all those people who touched our lives and ask that you may use us in your service to touch others in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> 